Hi everyone, so today we're going to do some potting up of my lemon cypress trees. They're starting to overgrow their pot and I'm pretty much having to water these every single day or they dry out. And when they dry out, of course, they're going to get some brown in them like this. So I've been misting them every single day and basically I put them in the sink wash them down completely with water, basically put the sprayer on them, and then soak them up good to keep them nice and moist. But I think it's time they get potted up. They've obviously outgrown the pot. So that's what we're gonna do today. And then we're gonna pot up this little guy. So I started two of these when we potted these up last time and gave them the pruning. And this one survived, the other one did not. But I've had this one for quite a while, so I think he should go to the clay pot as well and be moved up one notch too. So for what we're going to use for soil today is we are going to go ahead and we are going to use my Pro Mix potting soil that I have. So this has some added perlite in it. And then we're going to add just a little bit of the shake and feed. It's an all-purpose fertilizer, basically. So we're just gonna add some of that in, just to give these a little bit of nutrients. And then I've been collecting eggshells, and I've already pounded this down. So we're gonna add some eggshells to this mix as well, just to give them some calcium. They lose a lot of nutrients when they are in clay pots. So we're just gonna mix a bit of this in here, and I'm gonna add a bit more because I will be using this soil for other things. And I have no set amount for what I add. I just take a few handfuls and throw it into the soil just to work it in. And then that gives them some calcium. All right, now that that's all worked up, I'm just gonna seal up my bag because I do have some left in here as I continue to collect eggshells. And we're going to start potting these up. And we'll do the little one last. Now, I'm going to take the largest pot here that I have. I need to get a bottom for this. I am out of bottoms, or should I say trays. And we're going to put the tallest one here, this one into the pot. And then we're going to backfill. So we're going to add just a bit of this soil to the bottom and I'm not covering the hole per usual because we're going to put the roots um, about two inches down from the top. That should do it there. And we're just going to try to pot to pull this out at the stem. That was easy. And I'll just clean this one out over here. You can see there's still some soil stuck in the bottom because I've watered it really thoroughly. And you can see, this is what the roots are looking like. So it's very pot bound and it needed to be potted up. So we'll just go and backfill around this. And we'll just shake it in. And just brushing up against the lemon cypress, the smell is phenomenal. I will tell you that. So I'm just pushing it down, make sure it makes good contact on the sides and that there's not a lot of air pockets. Now, one thing you can do with these is you can use an evergreen food for them. If you find they're getting yellow, you can use even the evergreen spikes if the tree's big enough and in a pot, but I prefer the miracle Grow for conifers to use for these if they're showing some signs of yellowing. So I'm just gonna push this further back to make sure it's in place. And then we'll just top up a little bit more. This is a really simple project. Once you have everything you need, you can do these, pot these up pretty darn fast. And we'll leave about an inch around the top and you can see that looks a lot better. So don't be afraid to pot these up every so often. They definitely need it. They are a tree and they need to be potted up 
regularly. All right, we're going to do the next one. Let's have a look at these roots and see what we got. We'll just carefully pull it out and sh shake it up a little bit. A little bit of soil left in the bottom of the container. We'll just clean that out. Get rid of that. There we go. And you can see this one's looking much better than the other one. Um, it's had a lot of new growth put on it. I have pruned this one twice. There is the odd little bit of brown in the center, but for the most part, by spraying it in the kitchen sink every day with water has made the difference and prevented the browning. So there's a tip for you. They love to be misted and you can put them on a tray of rock if you so choose and then keep the rock moist. So we're just gonna take this one, do the same thing. We're gonna push the dirt down the sides in here. You could add some coffee grounds to this. I didn't have any on hand to your soil because that's also nutrients for the plant. But um, use what you have. That seems to work really well with these. They aren't a picky plant, so they aren't really difficult to look after. The key thing is keeping them moist. Don't let them dry out because that's how you lose your trees. And believe me, it makes a huge, huge difference on the plant if they're regularly moisturized and misted. So, and put them in a place. I mean, if there's something that you think you might forget misting, put them in a place where you see them all the time because it will remind you. And doesn't that look much better? It looks like it fits its pot far better. All right, and now for the final one. And then we'll work on the little guy. Let's get this one out. See, there's some browns. This is what happens when you don't mist. And you can cut this off or you pinch it off. I mean, if you just pinch the branches, not those will fall off, see? And you can get rid of it that way too. And the minute you prune them, here's another tip too. When I prune these, what I like to do when I prune these is I like to spray them in the sink with a bit of water first and mist the plant. And then I will go ahead and prune it. I think it's less shock to the plant. It's something that I've been kind of testing out. It sure the heck can't hurt the plant at all doing it that way. And uh, I've noticed a couple times when I've done it, it didn't seem to get the same brown spots from pruning. You know, and thinking about this, that might even work with doing boxwoods too. Is give, the only thing is you're using, if you're using electric hedge trimmers, you probably don't want to get it wet. But if you're just using hand pruners, you probably could go ahead and moisten the plant and then give it a good trim. It just seems to prevent the shock. And of course, not doing it in the heat of day. We aren't able to grow boxwoods here in Saskatchewan, so this is the closest I get to something like that or global cedars. Arborites also. Or you even turn forensias into boxes. That's a whole nother day and a whole nother topic. All right, so that one's done and it looks good. So now that we've got the three large ones all transplanted up, we're going to do this little one that I grew from a root. And all I did was use rooting hormone with this cutting. So we're going to see what kind of shape it's in when I take it out. I've got my trusty little dollar store tool here. Um, if you're looking for these, they come in sets of threes at the dollar store, dollar tree. So I'm just gonna go around the edge and we're gonna pop this out and see what we got. And we're looking to see what we have for roots on this. So I don't see a lot. So I'm gonna dive in a little deeper just to see what's going on with this plant. There we go. So now we're starting to see some roots. I'll show this up close. So it's taken a while for this to grow. I haven't given it any extra fertilizer, any special treatment. And there we can see some roots near the top and bottom. I always like to inspect the roots to see how far we got. There is the original root right there. You can see it sticking out. So now we're just going to stick this in here 
and add some soil to it because it's a little too small for this but this will give it a chance to really spread out because I think that pot was confining it from spreading its roots out. So we're just going to put that in there and then we're just going to top it in. Now there is the original root system right there. It actually came out of the dirt. You can see it. So we're just going to stick that straight in and I'll just make a tunnel in the center with my finger and push it down in and then we're going to backfill and make sure we get it in here good and I'm going to make sure I kind of center it a little bit better and then firm it in really well and then top it up. So once again we have to keep these moist in their pots and misting them works really good and I'll show you how I mist these. There we go, it's all in. So normally I would mist these right in the sink with my sprayer but for this video I'm going to use my sprayer and just show you how I mist the top. It's just to get it wet and then around the top here to make sure it gets some water. The soil is already pre-moistened and I had watered the plant before. So we're just getting basically air bubbles out of it. But that is how I keep it from turning yellow, is by giving it that mist all the time. And that will be the same for the rest of these as well. Just throw them in here and we'll give them a quick mist. And then, of course, you want to water the soil after just to get out those air pockets. And I can show you that another time or do it later. You guys all know how to water your plants and soak them. I prefer to water these from the bottom as well. Um, I will mist them from the top and water from the bottom. Then they really get a good soaking. And that'll be the same with this one. We'll just give it a quick spray on the top. And finally the big one. And I'm just doing it in the container so you can see rather than hauling everything over to a sink. But you can see I'm just giving it a light mist. So I think I missed recording some of the pruning I did. So I'm just going to show you a little bit more here. Basically you're just going to come around, round it up. You're going to cut it on an angle. Like that and just take a little bit off just to shape it a bit and you can do them all and then when you're done what I recommend is you take your watering can and you mist them all once you're done pruning and that will keep them from getting the brown dry spots it really will help I can't guarantee it'll completely stop it but it definitely will take some of the shock out and it'll give them some moisture that they need and then you can just clean out your pot. You can put some decorative rock in it. With these, I like to make sure um, that they're nice and clean. I don't like all the rock and stuff in them, but that's just my personal preference. Some people do like more decoration, decoration on them, but if it helps keep the moisture in, that's true. And the rocks would also, if you missed, would help retain that moisture. But I just like the look of a clean plant. So here they all are. They've all been pruned and just rounded, really quite simple. If you see anything that doesn't look quite right, just come back in and give it a bit of a trim. So here's the three of them, they look good. And then here is the itty bitty guy that I potted up that's still alive. So that is it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. And um, let me know how your lemon cypress are doing. I know one of the subscribers mentioned, actually got a comment on lemon cypress, I think it was today, um, that his are doing really well and that he's been following my techniques and found it really helpful. I really love hearing that from you guys. And I hope you find this video beneficial as well. And like I said, if you prune it, give it a spray to help prevent that shock. It makes sense, doesn't it, that they need moisture to prevent browning? Just simple, 
simple little things that you can do. So anyhow, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.